Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be discussing diabetes and hair. So I decided to do this video because I got a friend um, who asked me, does diabetes affect hair growth and hair loss? And I said, hmm, I've never even asked a patient if they experience hair problems when their diabetes was newly diagnosed or uncontrolled. And that's probably because we were so focused on getting the sugars down that we I don't think about those things. And plus there are more common presentations of diabetes than hair loss. But to answer the question, yes, there is an association between diabetes and hair loss. So what is diabetes? It doesn't matter what form of diabetes you have, it's the same basic principle. You have too much sugar in your bloodstream. And that sugar is attaching to different things, whether it's attaching to the blood vessels in your heart, causing increasing your risk of heart disease, attaching to the blood vessels in the brain, increasing your risk of stroke, attaching to blood vessels in the eyes, causing problems including blindness, attaching to blood vessels in the kidney, causing issues with uh, kidney function, possibly renal failure and dialysis, attaching to the nerve endings in your hands and your feet. Those are the first ones that are affected, causing numbness and tingling and that that feeling that some, that your hand is dead and it, you're just like hitting it all the time and it's burning. Uh, that's Those are all signs of diabetes. And so there's an abundance of sugar. So in my previous video, we talked about the hair anatomy. So check that out. But in order for hair to grow, it requires a blood supply that goes into what's called the hair bulb. And the hair bulb is your basic building blocks to grow hair. Well, it needs nourishment and that comes from the blood vessels. So if you have an abundance of sugar in your system, those tiny blood vessels in your scalp can be affected and that can lead to growth retardation and hair loss. And so, yes, that can cause a um, problem with your hair. In addition, diabetics, in particular uncontrolled diabetics, tend to be at risk for infections, fungal, yeast, and bacterial infections. And you can get those infections anywhere, but also including your scalp. So if your scalp has an infection, isn't irritated and inflamed, you better believe that your hair is not going to be at its healthiest state. So basically the answer to the question is yes, Diabetes does affect hair growth through one, in compromising of blood supply, and two, um, imbalance in the health of your scalp. Thought, I hope you thought this was helpful. If you've got any questions, comments, you want to um, rate this video, please go ahead and do that. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you.